Hi, this is Sterling from SterlingTeaches.com. Recently, I was giving a presentation to teachers on how to incorporate video into the classroom. And I talked about all the different places online where you can show video to the students, uh, different things such as YouTube and other video places. But many of the teachers had the same complaint. The video they show uh, video is blocked in their classrooms so they can't show any video at all. And so I showed them a couple of ways how they could use Camtasia to capture the, the video, bring it into the classroom and show them. But some of them said, well, that's a little expensive for us. How can we do it cheaper? So I began some research and I actually found after uh, that day, I found something called the Jing Project. And this is something that's created by Camtasia, TechSmith, the same people that make Camtasia. And what this is, is it's uh, a software that you can use for either a Mac or a PC. I'm here at Jing Project jingproject.com and you can learn more about it here you can download it and you can install it but what this is is it's a screen capture program it lets you capture uh, images and you can draw on them you can save them you can email them you can upload them to uh, screencast.com or even better is you can capture videos and I thought this would be perfect I wish that I had this to show uh, the people that I was talking about how to take videos into the classroom because this would help them for their classrooms that have uh, video blocked from it coming into their classroom so I wanted to give you a quick overview of how how Jink works first of all you have to download it and once you download it you install it it creates this nice little icon down here called Jing and it's really simple. All you do is you click on it, you click capture, and it comes up with these crosshairs. And right now, it'll let me capture whatever size I want. Let's say I wanted to capture only a portion right here. I can capture that. Now I can capture the image. I can capture video. I can redo the size. Maybe I just want to capture a small portion. Maybe I just want this image right here, like that. So once I have the capture size that I want, let's say I want to capture an image. I can go ahead and select on image. Now it captures it. Now you can see the image is right here. And let's say that I was well, I wanted to tell people how to download the Jing project. Well, I'm going to grab the arrow tool right here. I'm just going to draw an arrow to tell people this is where you click. Let me put the text here. Let me just type in, click here to download. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can even change the color, make it nice blue. Okay, so you can actually do a lot of different things really quickly and easily. Um, some other things that you can do is you can highlight something. Let me just click on that again. Let's say I want to highlight right there so you can see it a little easier. You can undo, redo, so it's a pretty simple program, but it works very well. Then I'm going to give this a name as Jing Sample. Now here's where the great part comes in. You can take this, you can send it to screencast.com, you can save it to Flickr, you can FTP it if you have an FTP site, or you can save it as a file. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a file. Now it'll let me to uh, embed this. I can send it to a URL, or I can save it. I can copy it, I can cancel and start over. I'm just going to go ahead and save right now. And ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it to the desktop and I'm going to call it Jing Sample. Perfect. So now it tells me the capture has been done. Now let's say I've gone through and I've done a couple of different captures. And in fact, let me go ahead and do a video capture real quick. So let me just come up here to capture and I'm going to do a video capture showing me clicking on different parts. So I'm just going to click up here draw this area and I'm going to click on video this video capture then it shows you the capture working it'll record my microphone I don't know how that'll work with me actually talking but you can see it'll record my mouse movements if I want to click there's actually a video tour here that takes a little bit to load it's pretty big but the video tour is actually pretty good I'll go ahead and escape out of there though that's enough time for the video capture I'm going to go ahead and stop that and now it takes the video and it shows me the video that I've created. Okay, so it did pick up my microphone um, a little bit loudly, but that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and you scrub through here and you can see 
it recorded all of my movements, all of my motions, and it stores it as a flash file. Now I can go ahead and call this, it, by default it's named the date, I'm just going to call this uh, my video capture, and once again you can just click on screencast.com and it will upload it there instantly. You can FTP it or you can save it as a file. If you click on screencast.com it'll bring up an option for you to do that but for right now mine doesn't seem to be working so I want to go ahead and save it. I think it's because I don't have screencast set up. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as a file. I click save I'm going to save it to the desktop again, my video capture, and you notice it's saving it as an SWF, as a small web file or shockwave file. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now let's say that you've done a couple of captures as we just have, and you want to go back and see what they are. If you click on this down here in the bottom, it's the Jing symbol, you go to your history, and you can view the past things that you've created. Whether you want to see just videos, maybe you want to see just images, or if you want to see both, you can see what you've created and at that point you can share it, you can embed the, the code, you can also see it by size. So this is a really powerful program that you can use. So this is called Jing, it's by TechSmith, it's a project right now. Uh, go to their website and check it out and see what different things you can do. In the next video I'm going to show you, in another video I'm going to show you a couple more things that you can do with this.